All right, guys. Um, so I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm going to try my best to see like that I sync up, but I wanted to show you how I vet you, right? And there's something really cool that uh, NVIDIA has released in uh, NVIDIA broadcast. And I want to show you how you can automatically uh, do eye contact, right? So right now, as you can see over here, if, whenever I am trying to act, like when I need to look at you, like to pay it, like look directly into the camera, I have to find like a spot on my phone right there and look at it directly and try to maintain eye contact. Now in the Unreal Engine 5.1, they've introduced uh, constraints where you can actually constrain the eyeballs to a certain point so that the eye is always looking at that. But uh, if you don't wanna use that, here's something else that uh, Nvidia has introduced, right? And it's inside of uh, Nvidia Broadcast. So let's go over here to this window and I'm gonna bring up Nvidia Broadcast and over to this side, right? So I have a virtual camera plugin installed and this is for OBS Studio, right? So once that plugin is enabled, you'll be able to use it as a virtual camera so that then you can plug it into whether you're using Zoom or some other thing. But uh, right now I'm gonna be using Minicam, which is a, a program that uh, enables you to capture multiple cameras. And I'm gonna feed NVIDIA Studio into it. And actually normally when I'm recording these videos, I'm usually, uh, recording directly from the screen, but I'm trying to record on my phone right now so you can see uh, the result. Okay, let me see if I, if, I, if I can track again. So we are capturing from the Unreal Engine and I have the scene set up in full screen. And I need to stay in front of the camera here so you can track my lips. And so I am VTubing as we speak. So this is my MetaHuman that I created using the MetaHuman uh, Creator by Epic Games. And I am streaming from the Unreal Engine. I've set my camera, uh, I've set, had my camera onto a sequence and I've pressed F11 and enabled full screen, right? So you can see the full screen right there. Then I'm streaming this information from here uh, using my Game Live Ultra. Let me see if I can find it game right there. So that is feeding this monitor into a, a, a source, a cable that is coming into uh, OBS Studio and it's the input, this video capture input right here. If I go to properties, you can actually see it's UCE Game Live Ultra, okay? And that is producing this what you see here, the, the, the window. So it's capturing exactly what's on this monitor onto here in OBS Studio. I don't know if you guys are following. All right, let me see if I can say that again. I am streaming from the Unreal Engine 5.1 on a different machine, right? So this machine has a 3090 card and that's the machine that you see like right there. That machine was provided by Puget Systems and I am, because I want to be able to capture in real time, I am sending the data from that card right there and sending this monitor that you see right here onto this machine right here that is running OBS Studio. <laughs> it's a lot of moving pieces, but that is what I'm capturing right now. And I'm capturing, this phone is actually streaming using a cable. That cable right there is going into my router right there. And that router is making it possible for me to stream uh, so that I don't lose a lot of uh, frames, okay? All right, so that part I think is fairly clear. You can always ask me uh, for more clarification in the comments of this video. But oh, we've successfully sent that video from there and we're trying to send it to, we've sent it to OBS Studio here, right? So that it's actually, it seems like I'm capturing a full screen video of something else, but really that's the Unreal Engine environment that is streaming from there. Okay, now do you see a challenge that I ha I'm having right now? Is that it's difficult for me to maintain eye contact, right? 
for me to make maintain eye contact i have to find a spot right here on my phone that i've marked and actually i'm looking at the live icon right here in uh, the live link face app and i'm looking every now and Every now and then I look down just so the eyes don't look dead like that uncanny valley. But right there, I'm able to look at you directly. But that's not tenable. Like if I'm over here, I'm trying to record and my eyes are over there. It's not possible. Now, enter NVIDIA Broadcast right there, right? So NVIDIA Broadcast enables you to capture, you like use your webcam or any video source and have... This isn't better, by the way, but it has that new plugin or extension. It's called Eye Contact Better, right? And so now that I have this uh, virtual cam working, the plugin is working in OBS, I'm going to start that virtual camera, right? And guess what? Now I am streaming into NVIDIA Broadcast Instead of using my camera, my webcam, I'm now using OBS virtual camera, which is taking this source video right here into NVIDIA broadcast. Now that I have it here, right, you can already see the problem is that uh, I am not able to maintain eye contact. Watch this. When I enable this, boom, now I'm able to maintain eye contact. The one thing that I've noticed, though, is that you notice the color of the eyes of my character over here that is in OBS Studio. Look at the color of the eyes here. So this uh, part of NVIDIA Broadcast is actually replacing your eyeballs with some with artificial intelligence eyeballs so that you can actually maintain the focus right there. And let me make it bigger, right? Actually, I don't need to make it bigger because... I am going to connect it to another program so I can record because here in NVIDIA Studio, in, sorry, in NVIDIA Broadcast, there's no way to record that camera right there. You can take a photo, you can a selfie like that. You can do, you can mirror the camera, but really there's no way to record. So you need to feed this video source into another program. And that's where we have Manicam. So I have Manicam over here. And I've added NVIDIA Studio as the source right here. So when you drop down, you can you, you see there's a camera over here. And under camera, we have all these different camera choices, right? And one of them is NVIDIA Broadcast right there. And so that is, that is sending that data from OBS. Now I'm able to look at you. So... I could be looking in other places, right? But then it's automatically making sure that I'm looking at you. So that is the cool thing about NVIDIA Broadcast that they've added. This is a new addition. So make sure you update your NVIDIA Broadcast. I believe it's 1.4. And that enable this effect right here, the eye contact better effect. So when I turn it off, guess what? My eyes go back to the native eyes from the unreal engine oh sorry my arm is getting tired over here <laughs> okay so please uh bear with me because i know the camera is a little bit shaky but i'm trying to show you the the whole process of how i vtube using the uh, my iphone 10 the unreal engine 5.1 a meta human and i'm using many cam to record the video and also nvidia broadcast to be able to like capture that i mean to do the eye contact better and like my arm is getting <laughs> so when i enable that the eyes are switched out and actually you can see the result here let me try again so let's see see that so i don't have to right now if you're gonna see like over here i'm looking on the side right but on when the, when the moment I enable eye contact over here, guess what? It's maintaining that eye contact right there. So it will always, no matter where the head turns, the eyes are going to always follow so that you you like maintain that eye contact, which is important when you're presenting. Like if you're talking to people and you're VTubing, you can still blink, right? 
and I can turn my head like that and it will continue to track the eyes. So I'm curious, like if you have green eyes or blue eyes, if it swaps out for that color of eyes, because I noticed that uh, it is swapping out from the native eyes that I have in the Unreal Engine for my MetaHuman and instead using the like the artificial intelligence eyes that can always track, can always be tracked like that. Oh, I need to stay in front of this camera. So anyway, so that was the quick tutorial guys is that uh, you can VTube using NVIDIA broadcast, many come in the Unreal Engine so that you have like automatic eye contact so that you don't have to worry about looking over here and it's not tracking. So, but that moment, the moment it stopped tracking was because I went out of frame like over here. All right. So again, thank you for joining me, <laughs> guys. And uh, please stay safe. As always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. And uh, let me know if you are successful in using this right here, uh, NVIDIA broadcast, and that effect of eye contact. And many come together with OBS Studio. And uh, let me know if it works on your end. So in NVIDIA, rather in OBS, you can see I have the virtual camera working and it's transmitting this screen right here into nvidia broadcast and then from nvidia broadcast to manycam so this is why i am able to record the video and maintain that eye contact without having to worry about oh there i saw my eye the original eye a little bit <laughs> so that was the tutorial today guys is that uh no longer do we have to worry about not maintaining eye contact when you're VTubing. Uh, so if you don't want to use the eye contact, rather the constraint in the Unreal Engine 5 or 5.1, uh, you can always use uh, NVIDIA Broadcast to be able to maintain eye contact like that. Oh, I should be really focusing on this. Okay, <laughs> maintaining eye contact like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. So... Uh, there are some features in Manicam that you definitely need to upgrade. Like sometimes when I try to, re, you know, resize, it asks me to upgrade. I think it's about $50, but I'm using the free version that you can still test out and let me know what you think. So if you want this, uh, I guess the, what do you call it? <laughs> this logo to go away, right? You want, if you want the logo to be removed from the final video, you can then pay for the full version to be able to uh, remove the that that the logo so that it's all clean and it's all you. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, guys, again for joining me today. Uh, this is fun. It's gonna make uh, VTubing much much easier. Yeah. So that watermark is gonna be added as long as you use the free version. So just be aware of that. But uh, overall, I'm able to maintain eye contact even though I look over here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How amazing is that? What a time to be alive, guys. <laughs> Bye for now.